Hey guys, this is Spring Master, and now time to go for the final course in Mario Kart Wii. Of course, Rainbow Road. You know, now that I think about it, this was like the first and probably yeah, this was the first time, if not the only time, that I actually did record every single course in the game in a very short amount of time, so that every episode can be uploaded once per day without any breaks. Although I did try it earlier, however. Uh, uh, for one reason or another, couldn't get to that. So, I guess it's pretty good not for people. Okay, so, you can see, uh, so after a bunch of random turns and stuff, you go to this part in Rainbow Road, and then you go to these two things that really do eat up mushrooms. So, if you want to go take a shortcut, you just do, just do eat up mushrooms. Uh, and you see, uh, some, uh, some parts of this course have no edges, so you gotta be careful. Especially since, uh, like the beginning of a double dash in world, this is quite a, this is quite annoying with the whole, you know, turns and going um, up or down. But like these, can you get used to it? Sort of. Except for this part here. Like once you go down, uh, it's really really hard to to uh, re to uh, re navigate and stay stay same strategy. So that's uh, that's what you gotta be careful for. And I think about it, that part kind of much the SD4 in world, in that you do go to a pretty long drop. Um, start. And then you go to the lower room and uh, sort of the Yankee one. And then you go to a bunch of turns. And then there's this. Sort leading up to this part here. And yeah, you know what. Okay, so. Yeah, the music. It's it's pretty good. It's. By far not my favorite music. It's. Uh, Rainbow Road, definitely not. I can definitely say the SD4 ones are the ones that sound like it are my favorites. Especially the one from Marker 7. Uh, and I guess the one for Double Dash as well. I can't even tell which one I favorite that uh, I like more. The one in Double Dash or the one in, uh, uh, Seven. But, uh, yeah. But I'm definitely gonna say that the, this Rainbow Road is okay. It's, it's pretty good, however. It's, uh, more reminiscent of, like, a GameCube one. But, uh, a lot harder, definitely. So, uh, I guess the only thing, uh, I guess, uh, especially FPS one is pretty small. Yeah, the SD4 one's too long. And too, uh, it's too long. The game with advanced one's too hard. The game, game has a pretty good balance between between the um, pretty good balance and all that. And Mercury Wii is a bit more to more to be difficult. A bit more difficult to stream. Well, like it tries to be difficult, but not yeah, it's really, it's really going to try to be more difficult. And it is. It is a bit it is a bit difficult if you don't know what you're doing it. Especially when you're playing online, there's a lot of people trying to push you off, push you off the, uh, off the edges. Especially in this part in the beginning, in the beginning of the course. So, uh, yeah, it's a course to watch out for, definitely. So, uh, so even now, uh, but what I don't like about this course, I'll tell you later, is why? Why not in um, why this course is made? No. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I, mean, I like the like design, I sort of like the design of the course, it's space theme, you see if you nebulate, and a planet. It's presumably the mushroom kingdom, mushroom planet. Or Earth, whatever. Well, let's just, uh, continue on. Now, there's something I don't understand, and I'm pretty sure mostly whoever watching this video understands as well, is why is this course being overpicked online? And those are like, um... Now in this game and Mario Kart 7, the Rainbow Roads take a lot of um, uh, you know, take a lot of what people like. I don't get it, cause uh, there are a lot better courses than Rainbow Roads, and people just like in Mario Kart 7, people love to pick yes and the Rainbow Roads, the rest of the Rainbow Road, and even like some of the random pick, even some of the random picks pick that one course. It's like the developers slightly rig the Rainbow Roads to be the one to, be, to, to occur a bit more often. I don't know, maybe it's just maybe it's just my my luck of the draw or something. But the, the yeah, but the Rainbow Roads just keep getting overpicked. Just keep this pick like um that's why I have a Rainbow Road counter for mark marker with videos. Simply for the fact that this course gets picked um once in a short while. I don't get it. So this is not my favorite Rainbow Road, heck no. But uh as, as you know, my top favorite marker courses of all time. 
the way the oh no, this is the music of all time. My bad. The one with music of all time. It's definitely the, the re yes Rainbow Road. So I definitely do like the music of it more a bit more. However, I definitely like the chorus of the re yes Rainbow Road. However, this one not so much. Uh, I could definitely would classify as some as something like the SNES one, not because of the gimmick, but because of how uh, how wide it is without any edges. So, because on a lot of things you fall mostly because of characters bumping into you. Same thing here, definitely. SD4 one, it's just I don't know why it's just only the SD4 one, but not because of the music, but because it takes too unnecessary, unnecessary takes too long. If this was in for some, if that course for some reason it was, uh, was a new retro course in the Wii U one, it would make sense if it was just put just one lap due to how long it is. Heck, heck, the SD4 was longer than this, and now it's almost as long as the 3DS one. So, yeah, final thoughts on this course: that I don't really like it that much, and I still don't understand why people like this course. It's it's challenging, definitely, but challenging to what extent? Uh, I just I don't know. I don't know why people like like this course. Is it because of the challenge? Is it because they want noobs out or something? I don't know. I mean, I know I'm I know, definitely not a noob, but even I don't like this course. But uh, I don't know. I, I just ran. I just I ran out of thoughts. The thing looks the thing looks good. The music's okay, although I don't like it as much. And the course is unnecessarily difficult. I guess uh, I'm just gonna go leave it as for this course, the Wii Rainbow Road, the sixth iteration. I'll give it an A. It's not bad, however, I just personally don't like it for... It's a bit too necessary difficult. Alright, that's it for the Wii courses. I guess it's time for the uh, Wii final review. See you tomorrow.